Well, good day, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on November 4th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video from Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Starting out here, looking at our sun as we had a couple equatorial sunspot regions. Not much life to them at all. No coronal holes to talk about. Solar cycle 25. Definitely seeing some action. But no big news. Except large filament eruptions. And very quiet sunspot regions. Looking at our real time solar data. Solar winds coming in at 350 kilometers per second. Had a small spike yesterday. But not too much to talk about here for space weather to be expected over the next 48 hours. Looking at earthquakes here the last 24 hours, it's been pretty busy. Especially for deep earthquakes in the Tonga region. We're going to get into that in just a moment. We're start out here with the most recent 2.6 in Alaska. In Salmon, Alaska. Yesterday, a 4.2. The geysers, west-southwest of the geysers. A lot of earthquakes yesterday throughout Ridge, Ridgecrest as well. Looking at these earthquakes here, 4.6 Fiji at a 550 kilometer depth. And then another one at 626 kilometer depth in Vanuatu. 4.5 here in the Philippines at a 545 kilometer depth. So some very deep earthquakes overnight and throughout the day today. Watch for larger, shallower earthquake to follow. I want to thank all of my friends and family for tuning in to Morning Dew. I've been pretty busy doing other things. And honestly, I am I'm having a tough time doing the Daily Dew. Let's look at earthquakes here in South America. right from Argentina straight up to Peru from a 5.7 in Argentina 5.3 in Chile and a 4.7 in Peru let's look at the last 7 days for earthquakes as you can see a lot of recent deep earthquakes all of the white elevated rings throughout South America and as well Philippines and into Vanuatu and Fiji so stay aware prepared large shallow earthquake expected after all these deep earthquakes watching the quiet region Central America North America Cascadia fault line let's look at the last seven day imagery over North America for weather and yeah we haven't even started winter yet and we've had hurricane force winter storm hit Quebec and Ontario rescheduling Halloween in some areas as the wild weather moved from west to east and it's set to continue over these next coming weeks as some really cold temperatures and lows are coming from Alaska polar vortex is already hanging around, dip, dipping down to Mexico. Here's Tropical Storm Maha in the Indian Ocean. It is set to head north and then northeast back towards India. It is a Category 3 cyclone right now. And then we have Typhoon Heilong, who's in the Philippines, or sorry, is in the West Pacific. 
and it is not going to affect any land except for the Marian Islands, possibly, if it heads west anymore, but it is set here as a Category 4 heading north-northeast. Five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteo Mike. Starting out here overlooking North America, as you can see the drastic temperature changes happening now. Large high-pressure ridge moving in over the coming days. Dropping temperatures from west to east. And we'll be bringing about 5 to 10 centimeters of snow throughout Alberta. And then a winter storm from Manitoba straight across to Quebec. Cold, really cold temperatures moving in. Minus 10 without the wind chill throughout Alberta. Parts further north are already looking at minus 20, minus 30 degrees. Northwest, Territor Northwest Territories, Manitoba. So stay aware and prepared. Early winter is here. And I've been warning everybody and telling everybody for months. And now it's happening. And it's kind of freaking me out a little bit, all right? That's why I said I'm kind of having a hard time doing the do. Look at this large low moving across Quebec City and into Greenland. Overlooking Europe. Watch for extreme weather event throughout Spain and into Italy. As this large low pressure system spins around the Mediterranean in the coming days. Watch for atmospheric events. United Kingdom already receiving some pretty cold temperatures and snow. And then into Russia. Wow, look at this. They're already minus 32 without the wind chill. And some pretty large snowstorms to boot. Quickly blanketing Russia with snow. And it's not even winter yet, everybody. Sign of things to come? I believe so. Here is the projected forecast for the cyclone in the West Pacific. Huge low pressure system spinning in the East Pacific. And that's what I've been saying for two years, that these systems are going to get bigger, they're going to get stronger. Look at all these tropical storms forming. Southeast Asia west of the Philippines and then later in the week another one forming over Thailand and then this tropical cyclone heading back to India so stay aware and prepared Southeast Asia you've got tropical storm after tropical storm happening the cyclone train over India interesting indeed Overlooking the Southern Hemisphere, not much to talk about throughout Australia, except for cooler temperatures southeast. And as well, cooler temperatures in Africa. Watch for heavy snowfall amounts in Argentina. And as well, heavy rainfall throughout Central America. If you hear looking at the five or sorry the five day forecast for the southern hemisphere versus the northern hemisphere as we are on the verge of a very early winter southern hemisphere is starting to look a lot like the north stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun thanks for watching today don't forget to hit that like button bye bye If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.